Now we're going to add a circular pattern of holes to the 4 inch pulley. You'll create a single hole in the pulley and then you'll use the circular pattern command to create the pattern of holes. Open the 4 inch pulley. By now you should be aware that the method you use to create features on your parts plays a role in how easy it is to edit them later. So you need to think ahead before you apply a feature operation. In fact, you should think ahead while you're drawing sketches and applying any SolidWorks command to your parts. As I said earlier, we're going to add a single hole to the pulley and then we'll add a circular pattern operation so that the pulley has three holes equally spaced. We're doing this so that you can learn how to use the circular pattern command but we'll also explore other options that may be faster and easier to edit. First we'll add the hole. Click the sketch command. We could select any of the surfaces on the side of the pulley to create the sketch, but the best surface to select is the outermost surface on the part. We want to be able to change the width of the pulley without affecting the hole or the circular pattern. So we're going to select this surface. Select the surface, set the view to the normal view, and then draw a line from the origin of the sketch to the left. Sometimes you'll find that the geometry in the graphics area makes it difficult to see the sketch. Let's turn off the revolve operation so that we can see the sketch better. Click revolve 1 and then click the glasses to hide the feature. Now change the line to a construction line. Draw a circle on the end of the construction line. And then set the diameter of the circle to 1 inch. Set the length of the construction line to 1 and 1 eighth inches. And then confirm that the sketch is fully defined. Exit the sketch and then make Revolve 1 visible again. Click it and then click the glasses. Now open the Extruded Cut command. Whenever the sketch is not automatically selected you need to select it. Click the circle and now you can apply your settings. We're going to use the through all option because we want the hole to pass all the way through the pulley no matter how thick it is. This will allow us to change the thickness without having to modify the hole. Type the enter key to create the hole. Now add a 32,000 fillet on the sharp edges of the hole. Select the edges. And then click in the window and add the dimension. Now type the enter key twice. Now we're going to create a circular pattern of the fillet and hole. You're also going to learn how to pre-select features for operations like circular patterns. Hold the control key down while you select fillet 2 and cut extrude 1. Once you've selected the features click the down arrow below the linear pattern command and click the circular pattern command. As you can see, Fillet 2 and Extrude 1 have been added to the Feature Manager. Now I'll show you another way of selecting these features. Clear the selections and then expand the tree. Now select the Fillet and Extrusion from the tree. The next step is to select the axis of the pattern. If you select some of the flat circular surfaces, they can be added to the Feature Selection window. So try to select just a circle. This way you can always be sure that your selection will be applied to the axis of the pattern. For example, if I select this surface, it's added to the feature selection window even though the axis window is active. Select any circle on the pulley. Now you can enter the included angle between the instances. You can specify the number of instances in the array 
And you can check this box to make the instances equally spaced on a full 360 degree pattern. Check this box and set the number of instances to 3. Type the enter key to apply this operation. Now save the file. We could have used other methods and commands to create the same circular pattern of holes, but which method is the best one to use? We'll talk about this in the next lesson.